I appear to be suffering from a hay fever today. Welcome to episode two of using web video for your small business, the month of June for my watch.tv advocacy. And today I wanna to talk about why all small businesses should not use clip art in their website. People who don't work in your business, from a social perspective, from a social media perspective, people looking in on your business, they're looking for the facts about what services you offer, and who are the people behind the services. People do business with people. You hear it all the time, but it's absolutely true. When I go to a website and I see a stock art clip art photo of a secretary that doesn't work there, the first thing I do is panic. So if you're using a web builder and you're using the default clip art, please think about getting a local photographer to come in, take photos of the team. Um, if the team's not comfortable with having their photo on the website, just have some of the key figures in your business. Start treating um, every interaction when it comes to video like an elevator pitch. On your website at least have one or two videos that are 30 seconds of length or just over that describe elements of your business. Really quick elevator pitches. Imagine being in an elevator with uh, the ultimate client and asking them a question or telling them about your business. You really need a, a, a punchy 30 second uh, clip that you can play out in your mind that you can sort of tell people about, but also put that on your website. I think for a small business, having web clips, video clips about your business areas where you excel in are paramount to driving more business. Oftentimes, clients really, really love what you do. We don't ask them enough for testimonials. We don't give them the opportunity to record a video or a piece of audio, or even send them a little email message after we've delivered to the client saying, did we do a good job? I think we should probably do that more and more. Don't forget to get a testimonial from them before you leave. A really good power tip as well is that if you're traveling between clients, you're doing a lot of driving, in your passenger footwell there, where you've got a little drop down um, holder there, put in a little audio recorder, a little video or audio recorder. You can pick one up really inexpensive these days for about 50 pounds, $50. Don't forget to put that in the car. Don't forget to have batteries in that device. When you get out of the car, or maybe when you give a lift to the clients at the local train station, just ask them what they thought of the product, the review, the interview, the proposal, whatever you're there to do with the client. Ask them for some feedback, even if it's bad feedback, even if it's things that you got wrong. You know, being able to listen back to that or look at that video and take away some good points and make a 30 second video to put on your website, it's useful for your social output. Tell me the processes of your business. How do you operate? Um, give me the whole structure that as a paying client, what I can expect to get from you. That's it for episode two. We'll catch up with you in episode three. You have no idea the amount of ambulances, runners, bikers, ducks that use this canal.